Mr. Pai, will this become a critical election issue, sir? Do you think it will? Do you think that the people of Bengaluru are fed up enough, you know, for this to become a real election issue, to put the government on the mat and say that either deliver on this or you're out? I think this is going to become a very real issue because for a very important reason, what have we got in the last three years of the BJP government? What did we get in the five years of the Congress government in Bangalore? Yeah. All we got is corruption, increased corruption. We got flooding. We got dirty roads. Though some of the roads have been done up. Yes, some of the roads have been done up. Uh, Chief Minister Boma is uh, spending money on that. But still, why can't you clean up the roads? Why can't you remove the debris from the road? Why can't you make sure the drains are cleaned in many areas of water to go? Why can't you have emergency teams in areas which are prone to flooding, which you know, the same areas get flooded again and again and again and again. Why can't you have remedial action? Don't you have enough qualified engineers in Karnataka? Yeah. Don't you have enough engineer, chief engineers in Karnataka? What is wrong with this government? What is wrong with BBMP? We yeah. know that drains are going to come. Why can't they put emergency team in action? We just don't know. It's badly managed. It is corrupt. If there's no lack of money in Karnataka, it's the richest state in India in yeah. per capita income. Exactly. Bangalore is the richest state. We pay the highest, second highest amount of income tax in this country as per government of India. What is it we lack? What is our fate? I think it's going to become an election issue, especially the uh, traffic conditions, the bad roads which are now getting rectified. No, no, absolutely. I, I, and, I, and I want to ask a citizen like Deepali also that Deepali, you know, uh, things like, you know, Silk Board Junction, the traffic, the, all of these things have become kind of, you know, it's, it's become almost kind of normalized now. You know, like we, like yeah. people who don't live in Mumbai talk about the spirit of Mumbaikers, which is basically the kind yeah. of suffering they have to put up with. It looks like Bengaluru's headed that same way. Soon we'll be hearing the spirit of Bengalurians because you guys have the, you know, the, the, the spirit to tolerate all this nonsense year after year. I'd agree, I'd agree, because, you know, that, that's the only way. See, for the government, uh, you know, their functioning does not stop whether they repair the roads or not, but it's affecting us because, okay, fine, you can sit at home for a day, like when my schedule goes for a toss, I can. But the next day, I will have to get back to work. So I don't have any other choice apart from putting up with it and finding solutions. Like, they, they just... Uh, are like it is what it is you know we need to learn to deal with it so I think uh, I wouldn't say that the people are accepting it but I would say that it's very unfortunate that you know they do not have any other way like uh, if I have to pass through silk board I have to and if I have to then I have to endure the you know long hour traffic jam and there is no other way about it government is listening because not only have we on this show uh, told our viewers what the experience of Bengalurians is but also given you a history of how bad it has been and how critical it is that things need to change very, very quickly. Uh, uh, elections are always an opportunity to put pressure on the government. I hope, as Mr. Pai and Dipali have said, this becomes a critical issue because Bengaluru cannot be allowed to sink. It is our beautiful global city and it is a city that has to be saved at all costs.